Hi, I'm Dr. GVK Chetnya Rao, your sinus doctor. Many of the patients, when they have nose block, they simply go to pharmacy and purchase nasal drops like Nasivion or Otrivin. Is it safe to use these drops? If it is safe, for how long can you use them? What happens if you use these nasal drops for more than the recommended period? Let me explain you in this video. For simple nose blocks, Otrivin and Nasivion nasal drops, which are nothing but nasal decongestant nasal drops, can be helpful in relieving the nose block. These nasal drops should be used not for more than five days. If you use for more than five days, what happens is these drops start irritating your nose and sinus tissues and the mucosal lining covering the nose and sinuses get inflamed and swollen. You yourself might be noticing that when you use it for more than five days, the amount of time for which you get relief from the nose block by using these nasal drops start dropping. This condition is called rebound rhinitis or rhinitis medicamentosa. Some patients who come to me tell me that they have been using these nasal drops for more than a year. When I question them, who asked them to use it like this? They simply say that without using nasal drops, they cannot sleep at all. And so they developed a habit of using these nasal drops every day. So like I already informed you, using it for more than five days starts producing side effects. So if you are one of these patients who without knowing have been using the nasal drops for more than one week, let me tell you how to get rid of this rebound rhinitis or rhinitis medicamentosa. The first step is to stop using the nasal drops. You may be scared. If you don't use the nasal drops, you may not be able to sleep in the night. But if you want to get rid of this problem, you have to stop it. Let me assure you, you may have a difficulty for a few days without using the nasal drops, but you will be able to start breathing through your nose again. So the first step, like I told you, is to stop using the nasal drops. If you're very much habituated and you cannot stop using the nasal drops, you can slowly start gradually reducing the nasal drop usage. For example, today if you put nasal drops on your right side before you sleep, tomorrow avoid putting the nasal drops on the right side and put the same nasal drops on the left side. In this way, over the coming one week, 10 days, you can stop using the nasal drops completely. Second, you can use the saline nasal drops or saline nasal sprays in place of the medicated nasal drop like Nasivion or Otrivin. These saline nasal sprays or saline nasal drops can provide some relief in your nose block and also these do not have any side effects. The third step is using nasal steroid sprays. These steroid sprays help in reducing the inflammation which the nasal drops have produced in the first place. Sometimes very rarely we might recommend oral steroids in very low doses to these patients. And the fourth most important step is that if you are having nose block on a continuous basis, it is important to identify the diagnosis which is causing this problem for you in the first place. It is important that you meet your nearby ENT doctor so that he can assess you in detail, identify the cause for your nose block and guide you in treating the problem you have. I hope you have clearly understood what is the problem with using drops like Nasivion or Otrivin on a daily basis. I recommend that you stop using these nasal drops after 5 days and if you have persisting nasal block, meet your nearby ENT doctor. Thank you so much and Namaste.